Leaders of the People's Democratic Party, including the former Vice President, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, and some serving governors and members of the PDP National Assembly Caucus, are attending this meeting in Abuja. Man and woman. It's the 92nd National Executive Committee meeting of the PDP, and Elder Yemi Akinwami is presiding as a court order in Cross River State bars Mr. Uche Secundus from serving as the party's national chairman. <laughs> Although the meeting is convened to discuss the party's planned convention in October, it also provided an opportunity for participants to speak on some national issues. Insecurity has, has so worsened that even military installations are not immune. We have never had it so bad as this. We must resist every attempt to show this unity in our, in our real ranks, but to work together to salvage the country. Some participants also speak on the party's internal crisis and its implications. And Nigerians are looking forward to PDP, and we cannot afford to fail them. We are going into a warfare, and military strategists like Apakobondo will tell you that you must go to a warfare united. The PDP has recently been struggling to settle internal leadership crisis, which has resulted in at least three court orders, with two restraining Mr. Secundus from serving as the PDP national chairman. Notwithstanding, the PDP believes in its internal crisis resolution mechanism. PDP's internal crisis management is far, far more efficient and far more better than APC and even the APC government itself. The meeting then proceeds into closed doors and at the end, the National Publicity Secretary briefs journalists about resolutions concerning the October Convention. NEC has resolved that Abuja will be the venue of the PDP National Elective Convention stated for October 31, 2021. The PDP has been enmeshed in a leadership struggle over the last four months, resulting in several court orders, as some within the party call for the sack of the national chairman, Mr. Uche Secundus, barely four months to the end of his tenure in December.